I'm Ryan Deuce. I'm a tech team lead here at Flyform. The first thing I would take into consideration is how many users are consumers of your IT services. If it's a large number of users, we need to be thinking about how much automation we can be doing, how many um, instant deflections we can do by the way we set up the portal, building out a knowledge base, for example, um, and making that portal experience as consumer grade as we can make it, just to enable those users to find the information that they need without having to ask an agent. And the more users you have, the more important that is, because otherwise your teams can't work effectively on those difficult problems that they need to focus on. So size of user base is very important. What I would also look at is who is the provider of your service desk. So first line support, are they internal to the organization? Are they external? Have they been looped into discussions? Have they got any expertise that they are currently using today that we would like to ingest into ServiceNow, whether that's accounting for ticket routing um, in your business services, whether that's writing out knowledge articles to allow instance to be resolved quicker. Make use of that knowledge that you already have um, within those, those agents um, and get that into service now into reportable and searchable knowledge and, um, and service layer information. Um, and I would also look at what regulations you have to comply with, personal data, GDPR, um, payment card industry is something that often comes up, um, sensitivity of data. And then also what I would look into is how easily you can integrate with the rest of your IT infrastructure. So wherever possible, we would like to um, tie into um, your Active Directory or HR system to automate those processes. We'd like to get a register of assets and laptops and servers and other pieces of infrastructure that you're actually going to be working with and who keeps those up to date and are they accurate and are they trusted? So source data is incredibly important. We need departments, groups, users, um, reporting lines, if line managers need to approve, um, cost centers possibly, although that's not so common in, in an ITSM implementation. So foundation data is really, really key. Um, it may be that two different executives have a different idea of what department structure you have, and so you don't end up reporting in the correct way on departments. Um, having that foundation data in from the start is really critical to make sure that the data that comes out of ITSM is trusted and accurate and reliable. The questions you should be asking before you implement ITSM is, what KPIs do I want to improve as part of this implementation? Do I want to improve the end user experience? Do I want to improve the mean time to resolution? Do I want to decrease the number of failed changes? If you have those ideas in your head before you go into those workshops, you will be able to align every decision you make to those end goals and it will keep you on track and make sure that you're not adding bells and whistles that you don't need. Um, my, one of my favorite phrases is, is keep it simple, stupid. So for example, why would I have five different SLAs running on one incident ticket when all I'm trying to determine is that my ticket is being resolved quicker? So keep every decision down to those essential KPIs that you decide at the start, and then those will be the KPIs that improve at the end. It's that simple. You've already got an ITSM implementation in. You're looking at everything that's going on. You've got your incidents, you've got your problems, you've got your changes, you've got your requests. All of that data is sat there. 
in ServiceNow. It's a single system of record. You can report on any of it. Go in and have a look. Go and have a look at what's going well, what's not going well. Um, what are people raising incidents for where they could be raising requests? Is there a potential for automation there? Are there uh, catalog items that you can be building out that will provide users with their most frequent questions um, and standardize that as a process that can possibly run with automation or with standard operating procedures rather than going through an incident which um, should really be reserved for something that's broken. Um, start thinking about improvements you can make around um, the data that you've already got in. And something else you can do to really elevate your existing ITSM implementation is start thinking about where your agents are having pinch points. So do they have to swivel chair into a different system? Do they have to go and execute this piece of script on a, on a server to reboot it? Um, are those repeatable, understanded um, actions that you can bake into an automation or a process and lift that manual repetitive task away from agents to enable them to focus on the big issues. If I had an existing ITSM implementation, the questions I would be asking is, what's going well today? Let's keep doing more of that. What I would also ask is, what could we be doing better? I've got all this data sat around in ServiceNow. I've got my incidents with all their resolution times. I've got my changes. How can I use that data to understand where there's pain points in the process, where there's excessive manual tasks, um, the areas of service where users tend to see longer resolution times. Can I bring in some automation? Can I bring in some standard operating procedures? Can I move all of those incidents into an automated request item, for example? And that would then see my mean time to resolution come down, um, improvements to service for those end users. And it, all, it would also show those users that we know what they need because we're surfacing those services that they ask for the most. So um, with an in existing implementation, can I see where those pain points are? And can I build out my service catalog and build out my automations to improve those? When picking a service provider for IT service management, I would look at proven track record. So how effective has this piece of software been at in making improvements to other organizations' um, ITSM processes? Um, I would look at the ability to report on the effectiveness of ITSM. So is there a single system of record that you can pull all the data out from users, groups, departments, um, instance problems, changes, requests, and report on that all in one dashboard um, and have that single system of record to really dig down into the, the success of your implementation. I would think about the security of your tool. So there's uh, multi-tenant architectures out there where all of your data is mixed in with other people's and um, you know it's not nearly as secure as a standalone application stack which you own, you control the perimeter of and you have complete control over that data model and you know that there's no other considerations that you have to think about in a multi-tenant model. And finally I would think about the best end user experience. So how does your user interact with your ITSM tooling? Does it look pretty? Is it easy to use? Is it consumer grade? And what tool does that the best? Flyform and ServiceNow together is a special combination because you've got a team of incredibly talented ServiceNow consultants from Flyform. You've got the best in class tool from ServiceNow that beats every other um, IT service management tool out there in submission. There's just no comparison. And when you've got A players from Flyform coming in uh, with the knowledge of all of those tools and features that ServiceNow offer, we can deliver that value incredibly quickly. And a lot of our ITSM implementations are lightning fast because we are confident that 
we can come in and deliver that value incredibly quickly. But that's because we've got amazing talent within Flyform working on the best-in-class tool, and it's just a magical combination. Mm -hmm.